good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are on to the next two figures in our Elite Series 74 reviews. We have the first time in the line, Lince Dorado and our Andrade C and Almas figures here. Very excited for both of these guys. Obviously, Lince Dorado, first time in the line, and Andrade, an updated Elite compared to his NXT slash Ringside exclusive figure that we got from Ringside earlier in the year. Speaking of Ringside Collectibles, guys, if you would like to get in on the sales that they have going on, if you would like to grab either of these figures or any of the figures that we're going to review here today from WWE Elite Series 74, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS, you can save 10%. Again, a huge thank you to all of you who have been using the code. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, you will get an automatic shout out on the story if you send it to me and, you know, tag me in your story using the code. I will automatically shout you out in my story. But uh, these figures look great, guys. I'm very excited for these. If you guys missed our AJ Styles and Finn Balor review, definitely go check that out. And if you're tuning into this as it's first posted, the Goldberg and Natalya figures as well as our ranking of Elite Series 74 will be following this video. So uh, if, you're, you, if you're seeing this later in the day, definitely check out the rest of the video so you don't miss any of the figures from WWE Elite Series 74. But taking a look at these figures, guys, let's spin them around. You have an excellent image of Dorado and Andrade here. On the back, you have the same images. And then, of course, you have a little bio read. You can pause it now to read. Rest of the figures in the wave. Another beautiful image of both of these guys. I want to say this is his attire from the Royal Rumble. I know that it said that, uh, you know, this wasn't supposed to be this attire. Um, I, for some reason, they said it was supposed to be his gold attire, but it's clearly yellow. I mean, it's clear as day that it's yellow, so I don't really know what's going on there. But nonetheless, I am a really big fan of this attire. I remember when he first came out at the Rumble. I believe it was the Rumble. Remember, he was like one of the remaining three or four in that Rumble. He had this attire, and I thought it was excellent. I really wanted a figure of it. Now we have it. It looks great. So now we have my favorite two attires that Andrade's ever worn. So that is absolutely excellent. But now that we have covered these figures, guys, let's go ahead and crack these hoes out of their packaging. So here's Cian Almas and Lince Dorado out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty fantastic, I might say. You know, there are some issues that I do have with the Andrade for the most part, and we are going to get into all of that and to do the comparisons, take a closer look at it. I will say that I did have it indeed correct. On the back of his box here, it says El Idolo was one of the final four superstars in the ring at the end of the 2019 Royal Rumble match. Well, there you go, Brad. That is what I said, and it does match up. So there you go. It was the Royal Rumble attire. I'm very glad that we got that in figure your form, and I'm excited for it, man. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to run through Lince Dorado's accessories and then Lince Dorado, and then we will run it back, take a closer look at Andrade Cien Almas' accessories, and then Andrade Cien Almas. You notice that I do say Cien Almas because he will always be Andrade Cien Almas to me. It's not Andrade. Just like Mustafa Ali was never Ali. It's Mustafa Ali. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Lince Dorado's accessories. So on to Dorado's accessories, guys. You will see here we we get the beautiful Lucha House Party pinata, and while I'm not a big fan of the Lucha House Party as a gimmick or anything like that, all three men, Lince Dorado, Grand Metalik, and Kalisto, are very talented in the ring. I am just not a big fan of their shtick. I'm not, you know, I think they're treated like garbage anyway, so I mean, I guess it's, you know, they're, they're not anything too crazy. Even though they individually have great talent and stuff, I just don't think they're ever going to go anywhere, but you get the beautiful pinata, and the head comes off. I did not expect that, so I guess you could, like, bust this open and fill it full of freaking confetti and you get a little articulation on the little pinata so that's pretty cool i did not expect that i thought i snapped it in half so that's pretty nice there to see that with the pinata you do get this bright blue ass t-shirt that does kind of look mdt-ish if you if you look at the pinata you look at the shirt there it kind of does look like mdt it says lucha house party sort of the in your house logo from wwe is what it kind of looks like lhp there on the back you get nothing you do get the little tabs there uh i can't stand these rubber shirts but you do get the included rubber shirt with Lince Dorado, you do get three pairs of interchangeable hands. You get the throne sitting hands or the uh, praying hands or whatever you want to call these. You get the pointing fingers, which we saw with Grand Metalik as well. And I'm sure that Kalisto will come with these. He is a part of Elite Series 75, so Kalisto will probably come with this as well. You know, they go Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. So there is that. And that is pretty much it for Lince Dorado's accessories. You get the pinata, you get the rubber shirt, and you get the three pairs of interchangeable hands. But now that we have covered his accessories, guys, let's take a closer look at Lince Dorado himself. 
So taking a closer look at Lindsay Dorado, guys, we do have this great looking uh, head sculpt. I like this a lot. I love the mass detail that we got going on. All of this fringe going down. It's supposed to be like uh, a lynx, I do believe, which is like a cat. You have the little cat ears going up. You have the lynx stuff going around. Uh, I love the colors going on with this. I think it looks great. Uh, you know, the black, pink, and blue sort of colors of the channel. So I like what Lindsay Dorado's got going on right here as we spin it around. You got all this fantastic stuff. You do have a logo on the back there. You get some back tattoos at the top of the back on the shoulder blades, upper bicep tattoo right here, upper arm tattoo. You also get another tattoo on this side. You get more tattoos on his lower arm. So Lindsay Dorado's figure has a lot of stuff going on that I really enjoy. I love the wrist gauntlets. I like that we have his very unique attire. It's sort of like capri pants or capri tights if you want to say. And it's like uh, got some, I think it says something, but I can't really tell what it says, so I apologize for that. But nonetheless, you get the Lynx logos going on on the back. You get some great detailing going on down with the paint apps with the black, pink, and blue. Very good contrast. Pink collars down here. He does have the shorter boots like Stone Cold or Roderick Strong going on with his short calves. And he looks good, man. Overall, I really am a fan of this Lince Dorado figure. Feels good in the hand. Looks good. Feels good. I think it's a good representation. One thing I will say is if you guys can notice on the side of the packaging right here, dude's pretty freaking shredded. So, I don't know. I think he, he might have could use the uh, Finn Balor torso. I'm not going to, you know, make a huge deal out of it, but uh, he look, he's pretty big, dude. I mean, he, I know he's 5'7", 170, but if Johnny Gargano can have a ripped up torso, I think that uh, Lince Dorado right here could have gotten one as well, but I'm not going to, you know, deduct any points for it that much. You know, it's not that big of a deal to me, but Lince Dorado is looking good, man, and I am pretty happy overall with the way this figure turned out. Now, for our Lince Dorado Elite Figure comparisons, guys, since we do not have any other Lince Dorado figures, I am going to compare him to his tag team partners, Kalisto and Grand Metalik. Obviously, next series, we are going to be getting an updated Kalisto, which is going to be fantastic. I think that figure looks really, really strong, and I think it's going to be an epic one. But here he is next to his tag team partners. I wish that... Uh, I know the Kalisto is in a blue attire, so I guess these three will look pretty good next to each other. I hope that's the case. But uh, nonetheless, I like to see all three of them together, all in their mask. I think that's pretty cool. Even though, again, I'm not a huge fan of all three of them together as the Lucha House Party. Individually, I think they're fantastic talents, um, you know, as far as in-ring work goes. And it is so cool to see them all up next to each other and I cannot wait for our Elite 75 Kalisto to release in the early portion of 2020. So on to Andrade C. and Almas' accessories, guys. You will see here we do get three pairs of interchangeable hands. What I was talking about with Finn Balor, you know, it seems like a lot of people get three pairs of interchangeable hands, so Finn Balor needs those two sweet hands, guys. But you do get the uh, double fist there. We also get the entrance slash, like, shaking hands or Kawhi Leonard ricochet hands that they still have not remolded just yet. They just look so massive and long, but I don't know. I guess it's not a huge deal. Uh, we also get this beautifully done cloth entrance jacket, which has like a sheen to it. It looks great. It fits the figure terrifically. Uh, I like this a lot. You got the great black stripes on top of the yellow color. I really am a fan of this. I think that it is fantastic, and I wish that we got more accessories like this instead of the rubber that we got with Lucha House Party over there. I'd rather them not include that and do something else, but uh, anyways, this fits the figure great. You guys have already seen that. Again, if you are going to remove the jacket, go ahead and remove his hands. He comes with mic holding hands already attached to the Andrade C and Almas figure, so you want to remove those, then slide the jacket off so you don't tear the jacket or, you know, F up your jacket. That will F you up, man. Uh, we also get two different head sculpts of this figure, so you do get the mast head sculpt, which you guys can see here, and I don't think he's ever worn this specific mask um, because he didn't come out with a mask at the Rumble, I don't think. I could be wrong about that, but to interchange the hands, guys, you just uh, go under the chin there, pop it off like so, and then you're going to take your mast head sculpt and then pop that on there, and there you go. So that is what Andrade looks like with the mask attached. Pretty cool stuff going on with that. And if you wanted to obviously uh, do his thing where he removes his mask, you would have the regular Andrade head sculpt attached to the figure, and then it comes with this little rubber piece. It's just a regular rubber old piece that looks like a mashed up mask, you guys know, because when you take off a mask, it doesn't stay stiff like this. Like it's full, it, you know, it shrinks down. It's a piece of cloth you guys have seen with Rey Mysterio and stuff. So you get this 
this little smashed mask, as you guys can see. And what you do is you would obviously grasp it into Andrade's hand to show that he has removed it. So uh, you could do this. There's, like, I guess, a bunch of ways you could grip it into his hand. Um, so there's that right there, and he will hold that. And I guess if you wanted to, you could force his hand open to hold it in different ways, uh, whichever way you wanted to hold it. I don't want to really force it, but uh, you could do that. You know, I usually put the my teeth right there and then just bend that open, but I'm not going to do it right now. But you can put the uh, rubber piece of mask in his hand to resemble him, you know, maskless or taking off the mask. So that is pretty sweet right there. I think Andrade comes with some of the best accessories in the entire line. You know, you get so much with him, so that is definitely a bonus. But now that we have covered his accessories, guys, let's take a closer look at Andrade Cien Almas himself. So getting into Andrade Cien Almas, guys, we have seen this head sculpt, I think, three times before or two times before at least because I know we got this exact head sculpt with the NXT Target exclusive or the NXT Ringside exclusive Elite Andrade where they use the Sin Cara parts instead of these parts, which is like the Chavo Guerrero parts, it seems like. But um, we saw this head sculpt with his battle pack with Zelina Vega as well. And uh, we also uh, got a lot of new parts on this guy. And you guys will see that in the next portion of the video. They went with the Chavo Guer uh, Guerrero torso. And they also went with the Chavo Guerrero arms, shoulders, and everything about this figure, I think, is a Chavo Guerrero. I don't really have the parts on me to compare it to. But I'm pretty sure this is a Chavo Guerrero figure. Uh, and, uh, you know, the legs may be a little bit differently. But nonetheless, you do have this new torso mold. And I'm not a fan of it. I actually like the Sin Cara torso and arms and shoulders better for Andrade. Andrade is a pretty big dude. He's 210, and I think that would work a lot better for him. Uh, but going down, you do have these solid yellow tights. Again, this is his Royal Rumble attire, which I'm a fan of. His attires aren't very, you know, uh, detailed. They're just plain colors with his logos on the knee pads, which I'm a fan of. I like it. Uh, very plain, very Jane. But to me, his legs just look long to me. I don't know what it is, but they look super long. And, uh, or at least compared to his other figure, which we're going to take a look at. He's not tall. He's 5'9", so that is something to take note of. You get the black wrist tape and the black boots to tie into the logos with the yellow. But, I mean, his figure's pretty plain. There's nothing too much to say. Uh, if you guys missed out on his ringside exclusive figure, I think it's actually, like, pretty cheap over on ringside right now. So you can go use promo code MDTOYS to save 10% on that. And you can pick that up if you wanted. But uh, compared to the other one, I think I like the NXT one more if I, if I would have to say so myself, but that is pretty much it our, for our Andrade Elite, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at some Elite Andrade figure comparisons. So getting into our Andrade Cien Almas comparisons, guys, you will see here we have the new Elite 74 in the middle. Up next to my Fix Up Sin Cara Elite Andrade Basic Conversion NXT figure, and then we have the NXT Ringside Exclusive slash Target Exclusive Andrade on the left. You guys can see the difference in parts here. I like this torso better, but the only thing that I think uh, you know, ruined it. I think this is where the, the part switch came in. You guys can see the arms are different and everything like that. Head sculpts are the same. The uh, formulas for the, the crotch and legs are different. I think this one's on ball joints. This one is not. Um, and this is where the issue comes in is I think that if you compare Lince Dorado, who's supposed to be 5'7", who is two inches shorter than Andrade, that's about accurate when you compare the two new figures. But if you were to compare the Lince Dorado to the old Andrade, they are roughly either the same height or a little bit taller than Andrade. So that is where maybe the, uh, you know, the mishap happens. But it's not that big of a deal to me, you know. It's not too big of a deal that he's not two inches taller, um, especially with, like, shorter guys um, when they're that close in height. But one thing I will say is that uh, I think I would still prefer this torso. And I think if you put this torso on this figure, I think my boy Steinzenberg's already done it. Um, I think he actually is still taller than the Lince Dorado, and he's the same height roughly as AJ Styles who I think is supposed to be 5'10 or 5'11. So I don't know. It's all up to personal preference. But you also have Zelina Vega in here, which also ties in our elites much better. And one thing I did want to do is I took the Battle Pack CN Almas uh, mask that comes with it, and I thought it would look excellent on the NXT Elite since it is white and gold. I thought it would tie in well. And uh, I just wanted to see what that looked like right there. But there you go. It looks pretty cool, you know. So now we have two mask head sculpts. Um, you, we have the white version, then we have the yellow version with the Elite 74. But I thought that'd be pretty wicked. And you could probably also put this on this figure. I'm not sure exactly how that'll look, but let's go ahead and just try it anyways, just to see. You know, you never know until you know. Okay, it doesn't really go on there given because of the hair, but yeah, 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 it was worth the try. 
But I think that about does it for our Elite 74 2-in-1 review of Andrade Cien Almas and Lince Dorado. Guys, I had a ton of fun reviewing both of these figures. Again, if you guys missed the Finn Balor and AJ Styles review, definitely go check that out, as well as the Natalya and Goldberg review that should be posted here in the next few minutes, or that uh, has already been posted for today. So definitely go check out all three reviews. In the Natalya and Goldberg video, we also rank Elite Series 74 from worst to best, so definitely check that out. I do like these figures both a lot. I will say that. It just depends on if you want to spend the extra money for this one. You do get the nice cloth accessory for Andrade. Lince Dorado, if you want to complete your roster, if you want to complete your Lucha House Party, this is a must grab because uh, there's no other figure of Lince Dorado. You have to grab this in order to complete your Lucha House Party unless you're a customizer, but I don't want to sculpt that damn mask. I think, honestly, I like the NXT Elite Andrade a, a lot better than this one, even though you do get the cloth accessory and the heights a little bit fixed. I am just a bigger fan of the Sin Cara torso, but I think there was sort of like a recall on those figures because a lot of them had the loose torso issue, which mine did not, so I am thankful for that. But uh, if you guys want to pick up either of these figures or any of the figures you see in today's videos of the reviews, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com, guys, wrestlingfigures.com as well. Use promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10% as well as all of the epic sales they have going on, like so many sales going on right now on uh, just tons of figures for very, very cheap. So you definitely do not want to miss out on any of that. But huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible. I'm getting the hell out of here. Go check out the rest of the reviews we posted today. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.